Welcome back, Smile Mentor community. Matt Griffin here, the Smile Mentor, here with another episode today, uh, interviewing a patient that uh, through the interview process became friend. Um, Byron was, when we went out to interview uh, Dr. Salama and Dr. Tadros out in Atlanta, we asked them for a patient uh, that had been through the whole process. One that, that was not prepped for a testimony that really was somebody that I could call and ask about just in our doing our due diligence before we interview these doctors. And <clears throat> Byron and I had several long phone conversations and there was, there was a, uh, uh, there was a hesitancy because this is, this is kind of, dropping your britches a little bit, right? It's a little embarrassing where, okay, I got teeth on implants. Well, again, that's what we're trying to do is help remove the shame. And in talking with Byron, man, he, he heard our heart behind it. And man, he, he hopped on, he, he pushed through on it and, uh, and was willing to be candid with us. And I think you guys are going to find this tremendously beneficial in, um, you know, this is not a sales ad. It, it's really not. He doesn't even mention where he had the work done. I mean, this was for the patients and that's what this whole thing is. Um, and so I think listening to Byron, it was our, our first time, even though I talked to him on the phone, this was our first meeting with him. So you guys are going to get to see, um, you know, I, it was an instant friendship. And I think that's what, you know, you guys will learn in going through this community that instead of shame and isolation, that man, there's a lot of us out there and and it's a cool way to bond you never would have wanted it right but why not right and it it really has and so for byron thank you again i want to give you a shout out for for doing this I, I really do appreciate you opening up your home and sharing your input and experience and for those of you who are new to the smile mentor and going what in the heck is this guy talking about description below you're going to see a link that has about the Smile Mentor, why we're doing this. I wanna save you guys time from repeating it. So check it out down below. And for all the faithful followers out there, uh, thank you. Uh, let's build this community. And if you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Thank you guys. This is our first time getting to meet. Right. And so, you know, but we did have a chance of chatting on the phone for, for a little while. Mm -hmm. I shared with you kind of the project we're wanting to do and why I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the patient out there, like us, you know, we're both mm -hmm. uh, that patient that, that might be looking for or getting to know this process. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's a life change process. It's mm -hmm. a it's something that you really um, you can't unwind. We talked about that, right. you know. Um, but you know, it it really has uh, it has affected both of our lives mm -hmm. in a positive manner. And so let's talk about yours. Talk about your journey, if you don't mind. Give me sure. give me um, give me a little mm -hmm. history that led up to this. So what what what's that been like? Um, what led up to this? Well. Um, you know whether it's real or not. I think I was uh, inherited some 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 bad genes, teeth genes, if you Amen. will. Yeah. You know that may not be a scientific thing, but uh, have always kind of struggled with with uh, with my teeth and, and, and dental health. And uh, you know, as a kid, just couldn't seem to stay away from uh, cavities. And yeah. you know, in and out of the dentist and on into my mm -hmm. my adult years. And uh, you know, the expense and and, and the hassle and and not finding the right dentist for yourself or just in general, uh, some bad work, uh, and and it just becomes more and more difficult as you as you get older, and and then with myself, you know, I hate to say it, but uh, I kind of quit maintaining, right? Quit maintaining my teeth because um, you almost give up on it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I kind of did. It's, and I don't, and there's shame. I understand yeah. that that tries to come in and I was there too. So yeah. that's why, and I don't mean to interrupt you sure. on your role, but I know that where you're kind of going, you know, is yeah. this a lost, is this a lost leader? Am I just, yeah. you know, I mean, right. am I ever going to, I'm just hosed on this. So I didn't mean to interrupt you, yeah. but I relate. Yeah, but, I but no, you're exactly right. And, uh, you know, but you think in a common sense, you know, how can you quit, 
you know, maintaining your teeth, you know eventually what's going to happen. I mean, it's going to catch up. Somebody said a great line to me. He said, you know, hey, ignore your teeth. They'll they'll go away. You know, <laughs> so I thought that was pretty apropos. But uh, and I kind of gotten to that point where you know, uh, had some deterioration and, and loss of mm-hmm. back teeth. I can hide that. You know, I can keep my mouth closed and and still you know mm-hmm. maintain my little secret. Uh, then it, uh, then I started, you know, having issues with, with visible teeth, you know, when you're speaking to somebody and just got to a point, tired of the pain, tired of the issue and, and, uh, just worrying that something else was going to happen and, you know, in a bad opportunity, you know, where you're out with people or something. So, uh, just had had enough and began to look at options. Um, and always had heard or recently had heard, uh, during that time about, the all on four, if you will, it, you know, goes by several names, but uh, complete re- replacement. And, you know, and I actually thought, it's like, wow, what a, what a great concept. You could, you know, go to sleep, wake up with a brand new smile. Right. And, and of course I knew there was, had to be more to it than <laughs> right. just that. So, uh, so I actually started doing a little bit of research on that uh, and, and found a, found a practice here in Atlanta that I felt comfortable with on, you know, just, the little research I was able to do. They had a great reputation, so set up a consultation with them, went in, and um, they took a look at what I had, and I really, at that point, didn't, I had not made up my mind if I was gonna go for the full replacement. I just needed information. What's available, right. what can you do? Um, first, I, I you know I asked them, what can you do with the teeth that I have? You know. I know it's going to be a long process and, you know, can, is it worth saving or are they, right. you know, and of course the amount, you know, what kind of costs are we looking at, which they gladly did. Um, and then compare that to having them all replaced. Um, I would continue to have issues. I mean, just as you do with natural teeth right. that you had work on, you're going to have to maintain those. Right. And, uh, it just may not be worth the long term or, you know, how, how long am I going to continue to, to go on this, this, this circle? Right. And, uh, so we talked a little about the, uh, the full replacement and, uh, they gave me a great deal of information, gave me options, you know, and anybody likes options. So, right. you know, I had deal with the teeth that I have or, or, you know, here's the replacement and what that entailed. Uh, and you know, the more I thought about it, it, it just made sense. Uh, seemed daunting, you know. It's like you just mentioned, you you can't go back once you start that. You know, they're gone. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I had a little apprehension about, well, they're gonna remove my my teeth, my natural teeth, right. part of it. And then and then I look in the mirror and go, well, why would you not? You know, these these aren't helping you at all. Yeah. So, you know, that's something to get over. Uh, it, it's you know, mental thing just to maybe look at it a little more common sense. I mean, there's certainly some, some emotional attachment and, and just, uh, uh, you know, there's just a great deal of uh, thought you need to put into it yeah. and, and really get your mind around it yeah. uh, before you pull that trigger. So I uh, had done that and um, then, uh, you know, full, full on yeah. with the procedure and, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure as many people say, uh, the only regret is uh, that I didn't do it sooner. Yeah, I've heard that time the, and time again. The only regret, I, I tell you, it's just, um, it just turned out wonderful. I mean, uh, again, should have done it sooner, mm-hmm. <laughs> should have done it sooner. You know, w- without a confident smile or a good smile, uh, you, you are certainly um, conscientious of it. Uh, in a negative way, uh, at least I, I withdrew from having, you know, somewhat intimate mm-hmm. conversations yeah. with someone at a, at a mm-hmm. close up. You know, I'm afraid they're going to look at this or see that. Uh, my smile was with my, my lips closed, yeah. uh, you know, and, uh, and, and you look like you're a little standoffish that you're not giving a big smile. And so, you know, socially and, uh, you know, that can be a, a awkward uh, professionally. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, you need to present a good image regardless of what industry you're in, Mm -hmm. you know, it's just going to help you. Once I got through the procedure, then, you know, things just opened up. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty talkative person anyway, but I was not allowing myself to do that just because of of the bad teeth that I had, you know, now, now people can't shut me up, you know, (laughs) which I love. I mean, I'm, it's, it just has 
opened me up more. I feel more comfortable inside. And, and again, I mentioned that, you know, I think an individual tends to look at themselves and their appearance much more critical and, and more negative than, than the world actually sees them. Mm -hmm. You know, whether true or not, it affects you internally, you yeah. know. Confidence. Which then has an effect on the outside, sure. you know. I mean, your relationships, and like you said, you're standoffish, you're a yeah. little, you're yeah. less, you know, and so yeah. whether whether it's real or not, perception is reality. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, so having this done, it's not just simply uh, uh, a great procedure to, you know, be able to eat properly and, and you know, not have any discomfort and pain, but it changes so much more that, you know, as I go forward, you, you, you start to see more and more that it changes that you can never imagine, yeah. you know, and I'm trying to think of an instance of that, but uh, certainly uh, socially and, and just uh, getting rid of that anxiety of, uh, hey, we're going to meet some new people for dinner. You know, you automatically think, oh my goodness, you know, I got to watch yeah. myself and watch what I order and, you know, am I going to break something else, uh, you know prior to this being done so you know after this procedure th th those those are not even a thought anymore you know and now you're more aggressive yeah let's meet people let's go find somebody you know uh it, it just really changes your outlook uh all in a, all in a positive sense it's uh it's just really been incredible i've as i said you just again i i regret that i waited this long to do it yeah. but uh there's no looking back now and that's right and uh it's just been great. It really has. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to promote anybody or anything. I'm just telling you how it, it's affected me, and I'm sure anybody else has had this done. It, it's just a, a godsend, if you will. It is. Yeah. And, and I appreciate you even bringing that up of you're not trying to promote anybody because you and I had a long talk about this on why why am I doing this? Why? Wh what's the whole point? Who's the target? And and are we being paid for this? And we're not, and we're right. not paying others. We're not paying you, we're not paying the doctors. We're not, you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and so to try to keep the purity of it. And so I appreciate you bringing up the not trying to promote it side of things, but let's, let's dive more into the actual, uh, before we dive into where you had it done, uh, I remember in our conversation, you told me that uh, one of your real good friends is a dentist. Yeah. Did he do it? Yeah, no, he <laughs> did not do that. Um, yeah, I had told you that story. Really, uh, really, you're a great friend of mine, known him for several, several years, is, is a dentist. He's been in practice for over 30 years and a uh, uh, real sweetheart of a guy. I mean, obviously, I had bad teeth. He's a dentist, he knew. He, he knew how bad they more more than I did, you right. know, just he could tell. Right. Um, and I was too embarrassed to even let my dentist friend mm. look in my mouth, who's probably seen everything. Yeah. But it was just, uh, you know, kind of that, that shame and that embarrassment. Mm. Um, and uh, he understood that, I think, quietly, because we really never discussed it. I would ask him, you know, off questions about, well, you know, just minor dental type things mm -hmm. you know but uh i finally got to a point where I, I thought well maybe maybe i can speak to him and maybe this is something that he could take on or at least uh, at least uh recommend someone uh for this procedure um and uh he 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 really encouraged me to find uh, a practice that did everything in house um from you know making the the, the denture to, you know, well, just everything in-house. Much more convenient, more consistent, as you can imagine, you know. Everyone's there speaking to one another mm -hmm. at, a, at a moment's notice, and you're not going to different parts of town for different appointments. It's all done in one spot. So that was very attractive. or It seemed very smart to me to find a practice like that. Um, <clears throat> so, so, which I did. I, uh, I found a group that, uh, from what I could tell, you know, there's not a, uh, you know, I, I didn't know anyone who had been there that I could get a personal reference from, but, you know, uh, website and information that I, that, you know, led me to other things about the dentist who were there and their practice yeah. and themselves. And of course, you, you know, you try to find, uh, try to find recommendations from, from patients and kind of weed through that to see what's really going on. And anyway, they seemed, uh, seemed to be the best, uh, in my area. And, uh, 
So that's who I set up my first appointment consultation with. And, um, and I didn't regret a minute. I mean, luckily, so I... So uh, first consultation is who you ended up going with. Yeah, yeah. Man, you lucked out. I really did. I felt like I did. I, I mean, seriously. Like I yeah. Um, I, you know, maybe I was just led there. Yeah, amen. I <laughs> you mean, you, you had some favor on that because like I mentioned yeah. to you before, I mean, I went to a consultation when my mom had to have her upper and lower done. I went to see uh, Clear Choice, which uh, you'll see TV commercials for right. them. We went to see in the Dallas area, there's Arch Point, which is another big one. Mm -hmm. uh, went to see Golpa, which is, he's got a few locations around and and uh, and and ended up, you know, ended up where we ended up. We didn't go with any of them. We yeah. actually went with who did my work, ended up doing my work, and we ended up building a pretty good relationship. But, you know, I it it those consultations can be a beating. So I mean, for you to get it right on the first one, that's a gift. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I and I recognize that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and you know, these guys aren't really on anyone's radar. There's no you know local television commercials or big billboards or whatnot. I just happened to find them, you know, Google searching through wow. Atlanta dental practices. And uh, again, they were convenient to where, you know, I live. And, uh, you know, that obviously is a, is a plus. You're going to be there a lot. And uh, yeah, went in and just, you know, thank God hit it right off the bat Amen. with these guys and, and felt really comfortable. And uh, you know, I think everybody's looking for that. Nobody, you know, I don't know anyone who wants to go to the dentist, but if obviously you have to, but if you can go to a dentist that you're comfortable with as people right. and, and they treat you with dignity and, uh, and, and that's what I found with this particular practice. And, uh, I just had a comfort level. You, you sometimes know that inside feelings like this, this feels right. You know what they're saying sounds right. Feels right. Don't feel like you're being led astray or, or you know, Pushed. sold. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, you know, felt really good about that and uh, turned out to be probably the best decision. Oh, well, without question, the best decision for dental. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, they've just done a wonderful job. And again, hate that I've waited so long. <laughs> <laughs> what would be, what would be, okay, so now, now. <clears throat> You know, I'm I'm a big big on the discipleship model in that um, I've gotten to go through a lot of pain. You know, we we talked about it, the embarrassment that comes with this, and I appreciate yeah. you stepping out. I mean, even going on camera, right? Sure. I mean, there's a little bit of a yeah. apprehension oh, on, on people knowing your business, and it's <laughs> yeah. embarrassing and a little right. shameful, and so that's why even when for me, you know, when I thought, oh my God, film the surgery, I'm mean, going to film some. You know, I mean, it, it really it really had some apprehension, but what pushed me, and I appreciate you doing this as well, because I felt the same sentiment from you, Byron, was the, the fact of being able to help that patient out there that's looking, that's scared, that's where we were, right? right? You know, that, yeah. that that is at that moment where they just went out to dinner and their bridge fell out, or <laughs> they, you know what yeah. I mean? And, yeah. and so. Where do you go from here? Yeah, and so now that you have gone through it, what would you encourage patients to either questions to ask, things to look for, or things to avoid? Any of that? Um, yeah, having gone through it, um, uh, you know, maybe some technical things. Uh, are they going to try to preserve your your bone your as much as possible? Great. You know, there's a lot of come to find out. There's other you know dentists or you know nationwide guys that will just mm -hmm. shave you straight down just to get it in and, and and get you out. You know, the more bone they can preserve, the better. Um, recovery period. You know, uh, obviously it varies with individuals. Uh, but uh, what kind of care can you expect after, after the fact, after the surgery and whatnot from your How dentist? How long was your recovery? Um, actually, I had mine done in, in two, uh, two procedures, upper and then lower. Okay, so not the same day? Not the same day. Okay. Not the same day. And I asked about that because uh, everybody promotes that. Mm -hmm. and, and what I appreciated about the practice that I was with, they said, we can do that, but it is such a long day on you although you know you're asleep but it's also a long day on them and they didn't want to get to a situation where 
they don't like to become tired and maybe make a mistake or not be dead on their game it didn't cost me any more it didn't cost me any more uh and they also you know it was you probably going to have an easier recovery because it's just you know one at the time mm -hmm. um it's not ideal if you're looking to get into something quick, but I had to look at the long game. If I want this to, to be right and for it to last and put as much effort and, and quality into it that the, that the dental practice is, then, then I need to listen and I need to play the long game as well. You know, I'm going to have to go back twice. That's just the way it is. Um, <clears throat> for me, it felt like a, a better decision quality-wise, if you will. Sure. Uh, procedure can take quite a while so yeah. you know they're you know a little concerned about how long I would have been out and how many hours that they would be at it um, you know I don't know if mine is typical of you know everyone else but you know I was out probably six to eight hours I mean it's a day it's a long day yeah it, it's a long day mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you know I agreed with that um, so that's something to ask. I mean, do you, you know, are they planning to, to do it all in one day or, you know, why do they feel comfortable they can do that? And can you split it up if you want to, you know, just you got to make a decision for yourself and get the right answers. Um, then, uh, you know, how many how many sets of temporaries, if you will, mm. are they going to work with you on? Because, Great. you know, they come up with the design and. Uh, but it's your teeth. But it's your teeth. Yeah, and it's got to it's got to it's got to work mechanically, right. and it's also got to look pleasant aesthetically, you know. So for you, for not you, just them. They're for you. Yeah, they're creating it, and they think they know what you want. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I the, again, this practice I worked with, they were they were great. They were more particular than I was, if you can imagine. Uh, so you know, I appreciated that. Uh, went through a few t just because of the bite, and the the style and the form and whatnot they they paid a great deal of attention to that and uh at the end of the day when i got you know your you say your permanent uh set it was it was everybody was happy yeah. you know everybody had input as well as yourself obviously it's it's you and uh at the end of the day it was it was just fine and it was great so what material do you, did you were your finals made of uh, you know uh, zirconia zirconia yeah you went with yeah. zirconia okay top and bottom top and bottom yeah okay. i'd heard it at one point that you know they were concerned about putting because it's such a hard material mm -hmm. and on top and bottom because yep. they you know if you can think of two wine glasses coming together can easily crack and shatter mm -hmm. but i want to understand they've even made more advances in the material itself and they're not that concerned with it and how they set up your bite um you know, you don't want all your teeth, from what I understand, hitting all at one time. You, you just, you know, your, your teeth should really never come together when you're eating, you know, solidly. You know, right. you're not just clanging down on, right. on your teeth. So uh, the way they set up my bite is, uh, you know, an area on the sides do touch uh, and you got a good overlap so then the smile looks natural. Huh but there's just a fraction of a of a space between the rest that it, you know i can't tell when eating never could tell it was anything different has your jaw ever hurt afterwards no that's so good no. so like tmj or tmd any of that kind of stuff never nothing had at any... all no that's so good no. and and, and it is, i found it amazing how quickly your body uh gets used to how, how quickly your mouth gets used to having yeah. a foreign thing in your I mouth. Mean, obviously when you first have it in there it's like you know it's, it's a little unique yeah you know it's, it's a unique there. feeling but after a couple of days honestly you know you, you start to settle into it and it's not that big a deal right it, it and and you know the temporaries they're a little more beefier because of the material mm -hmm. that has to be stronger mm -hmm. at the end of the day on the zirconia uh they're they're a slimmer design if you will profile so they feel totally natural it's just yeah. great this is great um again why did i wait yeah why did i wait but uh you know we're talking about questions to ask uh, anything that you're uncomfortable with don't be afraid you know whether it's yeah. financial or something with the procedure yep uh you know, don't be intimidated by a dentist. This is your mouth. Amen. This is, you're going to live with this the rest of your life. Mm. You need to make sure you're getting that 
question answered and, and you're comfortable with it. If you're not, walk. You know, if, even if you've been in, in, in consulted with the dental practice two or three times, don't feel like you're Obligated. wasting anybody's time. If you're not getting the right answers, unfortunately, start over, but go somewhere where you're comfortable and I, and I think you're getting the right answers. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Because, <laughs> sure. because they work for you. Correct. You don't work for them. Right. And the ability, you can't unwind this. We talked about it earlier. Oh, you yeah. can't put those teeth back and right. go, well, I'm going to pick up my ball and go elsewhere. You're stuck. You You've are. got that relationship. And I have had some interviews where I've talked to some people that unfortunately went with the wrong choice. Mm -hmm. And to undo that and to try to fix it, I right. mean, is it's like a foundation on a home. If you get that foundation right the first time mm -hmm. versus having to try to go back as there's cracks in the walls right. and all that kind of good right. stuff, it is so much more expensive and painful. And, yeah. um, but you're right that, that let your, A, make sure you're asking the right questions and trust your gut. You said it in an earlier part in our conversation that you trusted your gut, that, yeah. that when you met them, that something just felt right. Yeah. Don't ignore that. And if something feels a little off, you have any hesitancy. I'm not talking about the fear of the pain. I mean, we all have a little bit of, will it hurt? Right. Will it, how long will it take? Will they look natural? Those are all natural yeah. apprehensions. But if you've got about that clinician or that practice, uh, please walk, please, please, please. Yeah. yeah, That's a great point. Again, you can't go back and uh, it's too important. This is such an important thing mm -hmm. that, that you, you need to be comfortable. You need to make sure it gets done right. Yeah. Um, you walk away from that dentist and you deal with it. They That's don't, right. you know, right. for the rest of your life. So, yeah, it's a, Great it's, point. it's a good feel to, to find somebody you, you feel comfortable with. Yeah. So I was fortunate without question. Absolutely. Yeah. What, what, uh, <coughs> you talked about the, they put you to sleep. So, so they had IV sedation where, yeah. where you just went fully out. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen some where they just give a pill and they're half awake yeah, and that kind no. of stuff. I filmed some. Have you really? Wow. I, I filmed. I filmed my first time where I had to film this for clinical reasons. Yeah. The guy wouldn't didn't take to the sedation, and so he's in there, and the doc's trying to do it. And hey, I don't want to be in there, right? right. Like that's not. I don't enjoy that piece of this. I enjoy right. this, what yeah, we're doing yeah, now, yeah. but when I've had to do it for clinicians for, for training purposes, so I mean, I'm, I'm zoomed into the mouth and got a couple camera angles and I'm sitting in there and the guy, he wouldn't, he wouldn't go out and he kept waking up and, and the guy's placing the implant. And I don't want to scare anybody, but the guy's placing the implant and the guy wants to bite down yeah, on yeah. it. Can you imagine? That's... And I mean, the groaning. And so I'm glad to hear you did the <laughs> yeah. IV yeah. Uh, sedation. Did that, did that, did you wake up with any pain once you did or how, uh, how did that work? I didn't, uh, I didn't. Uh, obviously you're out pretty quick. And uh, for you, it's a very short day. It just right. seems like you've only been asleep a little while. I wake up, you're of course groggy. Uh, there was no pain, you know, they had, uh, uh, you know, deadened things correctly. And uh, uh, so, yeah, there was no, you're just really just trying to get over the grogginess. Uh, and of course you have someone drive you home and they took great care to get me to the car and, yeah. you know, all the instructions of what, uh, what to do, what not to do for, for care afterwards. And uh, it was probably the second day, third day that, that or second day that I felt any any discomfort, you know I had I hesitate to say pain. Uh, I guess discomfort is pain, but it wasn't excruciating. It's certainly not like a toothache. I mean, right, if you're looking different. at this procedure, you've had a toothache. You know how horrible that is. It yeah, is man. absolutely nothing like that. Yeah, it, it's just different, manageable. Uh, they gave me uh, uh, some prescription painkillers, but didn't need those. Uh, I held Great. off, and and you know. Ibuprofen and the Advil took care of, so you know that tells awesome. you maybe a little bit of the level of the pain. Um, you get some swelling. That's a that's a surprise after the mm -hmm. about two and a half days in, three yeah. days. It's when the worst swelling yeah, comes. Yeah, yeah, and, and again, not that that's that hurts. It's just you don't uncomfortable. Like, it's uncomfortable. You don't like to see yourself that way, mm -hmm. but it does go away. You know, just follow your instructions. Keep some <laughs> compresses Surprise. on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, but, uh, you know, it's all such a distant memory. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, with these, with things like this, I, I find that you you have anxiety over how you know the pain and all this you know ordeal that you think you're going to go through, and and then the whole scheme of things, it's just such a very small fraction of the whole procedure yeah. that it's that you're over and done with that painful part or discomforting part and it's you, you can hardly even remember it any longer it's just gone now you just you know you not even focused on your teeth it's just like it's done yeah and, and you, you don't when you talk to somebody you don't that's not the first thing you say you know you don't say well if you're gonna do it be you know watch out for the pain no <laughs> you say do it now yeah you know because it's Being just changed everything so um, but uh, yeah, it was not nearly. I guess maybe I had it worked up in my mind a little bit more than it was. But uh, it was very easy recovery, mm -hmm. um, and uh, again, would do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. I wouldn't hesitate to, to to suggest somebody else do it. Yeah, you know. Well, speak. You know, when when um, my wife, when you know, she was so supportive in this, and when when I had it done, she's like, "Oh, baby, they look beautiful," and mm -hmm. all that. Tell me about your wife. How did what did, what was her response when you had it done? How did what did she, well, how did she take it? Yeah, and all very that? very similar. She was. Uh, I mean, she knew the obviously the the issues I'd had with my my natural teeth. Yeah, and, they know best, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Told her what I was looking into, and and. Uh, she was very supportive and, uh, mm. you know, it was like, absolutely, you know, do it. Uh, why not? Right. You know, and sometimes that's what you need to ask yourself. Well, why not do it if you can't get over that fence? So she, uh, very supportive uh, and, and, you know, loved every minute of it. Just the, certainly the outcome and, and saw how much it's, ch it's changed me positive in the positive manner. Uh, got her thinking about her teeth. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, she wasn't nearly as nearly to the point where I was on my natural teeth, but was having some issues. She had had some bad work done by mm. some by some dentist that didn't either care or seem to know what they're doing. But she had constant issues going back and forth and pain. It's just frustrating. The caps popping off. You know, it, oh, it's yeah. just terrible. Um, she saw what I went through and the end result, and decided to do it herself. So, so she, she had it is, done. Yes, too. she's in the middle of it now. She's, oh, uh, wow. She's close to getting her final set, and uh, same so she's thing. She's at the five yard line. Yeah, she's at the five yard line, and again, she would not hesitate to do it again. It's just that is so. She's cool. thrilled with it. So, that is so cool. Yeah. So, um, again, she saw exactly what this entails, and uh, and she and did. jumped right in without hesitation. Yeah. And she she had unfortunately some of what I think almost everybody's had. Sometimes it's more than others, but dentists in their history right. that didn't know, took advantage of, would I mean just I mean I I know that anybody that's watched our channel or any of our videos or knows me at all knows I got a a special <clears throat> love <laughs> for dentists, yeah. and and that is you know. There are good ones out there. I know that, you know, and you and I have been blessed to have found some good ones that really fixed it. But that's that's another part and a hope of this that, you know, you saw one of the videos I did where I told the bad dentists they need to be afraid out there because we <laughs> yeah. want an educated patient so that, like your wife, like us, we don't, we can try to avoid spending and wasting money and throwing good money after bad. Right. And that's, you know, that's like when it comes to, I've had some friends ask me, root canal, should I get a root canal? No, go straight to an implant. Why even bother? You know, it's going to last you right. five, 10 years, yeah. get you an implant. And so invest a little more in something like that. Now she, now she went with the same group that you went with. She did. She did. Yeah, so yeah. she felt comfortable enough watching you having a side, front row seat, but still sideline right, right. to go and, with them. And, uh, you know, at least with the surgeries, you know, the, the, the two procedures that I had, she was there and spoke with everybody, you know, during mm -hmm. the day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they found common ground. And she, she could just see what I was explaining to her about how comfortable and how great, you know, everyone treated me at this yeah. practice. And, and again, it's not, you know, they're not selling you're not marketing. It's it's honest. It's sincere. You can you can tell that mm. it is. So and good. she saw that and and 
you know, shit, these, these, these guys are for me too. You know, this is great. So that's cool. Very happy with it. Um, everything done under one place. You've mm -hmm. had, how long have you had your final set? Um, probably approaching a year at this okay. point. Okay. Yeah. Anything, you know, I, <clears throat> um, I've, I've asked this in a lot of my testimonies and I've always, I mean, before I had it done, I always was a little hesitant on, are they being honest with me? But is there anything you can't eat? Let's start with that. Is there anything you like to eat that you can't? No, I can't think of a thing. I can't, no, I really can't. So steak? No, no, that, you know. Ribs. Yeah, we, we had a little conversation about yeah. that too, yeah. 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 It's like, uh, you know, I love steak, yeah. but you know, previously it's like, I just, I don't want to go through the hassle of trying to eat a steak. Yeah, you're going to eat fish. I'm, a la I'm the last person <laughs> to finish if I'm at dinner with somebody, you know, trying to manage through this piece of meat. But now, it yeah. But, shriveled. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but now, not a problem. I mean, it's just, it's so natural and yeah. it just, yeah. I, there's nothing I hesitate to eat. I mean, I, I do, <sighs> I can't even name what it was, but I would somewhat probably shy away from something very hard, like a candy. Or like a, a jawbreaker. Yeah, something yeah. silly like that, but I don't think that's good for your natural teeth, much less <laughs> these, you know, so. Yeah. No, there's really there's really nothing that, that holds me back from eating. And, uh, you know, it's, it's funny, you have a little bit of an advantage over people with these bionic teeth, if you will. It's, I can eat ice cream and I don't have those cold spots, you know, and that, that sensation. That's right. Yeah, even people with healthy teeth will get that, you yeah. know, so. But uh, no, there's nothing that, 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 there's no hesitation at anything. There's and you're nothing. never gonna have a cavity again. Never have a cavity again. Isn't that a great feeling? It, it is, it is. Uh, the, you know, there's care to be taken still with these. Uh, it's, I don't think it's any more daunting or any more arduous than you would with your regular teeth. And certainly after you get your smile where you like it, you're more apt to do it. There's no pain, but it's a, it's a maintenance thing. I mean, talk to me a little bit about that. What, when, when, as far as in, I know you got to go in twice a year or should go in twice a year for cleaning with, with the professionals, mm -hmm. but from a day to day, um, how do you take care of them? Um, you know, I try to follow what the, what the dental industry has always said, you know, try to brush three times a day. You know, after each meal, if you can. Uh, but uh, the biggest thing is uh, uh, a water floss, you know, a, mm -hmm. a, a water pick. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can brush all you want and think you're getting everywhere, but you, you get that water pick out and you still get particles. Uh, it's crazy. It, it is. You think you get all that brushing, all of a sudden you're like, yeah. whoa, well, whoa that's, I got more. That's in still there. there. Yeah. yeah. So, but. Uh, uh, it's refreshing to do so. It is. You know, I'll dump a little cap full of uh, mouthwash in it, and and yeah. at the end, it just feels great. It, it you know, it, it certainly massages the gums like it's supposed to. So you you know, you're keeping good gum health and mm -hmm. getting anything uh, anything else. So it's uh, you know very easy. I mean, you know, uh, some nights you don't want to do it, you know, because it's another what five minutes. If that. Isn't it funny though? It's like five minutes yeah. of your time, but yet sometimes you're like ah, uh, yeah. but. Right. You know, afterwards you're always glad. Yeah. You know, you're like, yeah. what am I? Well, but it's real. Right. You know, and I want, I do want patients to not go into this with a Cinderella, Goldilocks kind of mentality that there is still maintenance. And I'm glad you brought that up. Mm -hmm. Like, go ahead. You made the investment, mm -hmm. right? right? We spent a lot of money on yep. this smile. Yet, um, make that investment to, to maintain it because it's not just screw it in and forget it. Right. Right? I mean, you still have to do it. How, on the, on the water pig side of things, I noticed with me, it took a little getting used to. Did it with you at all? It, it did, it did. Um, not only, I think, for your, your, your gums to, to get used to that, but just the awkwardness of using mm -hmm. it, and that that you know can make you run away from it sometimes. You yeah, because you're soaking, spraying the mirror. Yeah, sometimes. you're soaking down the <laughs> soaking down the bathroom. Um, <laughs> but uh, it, it doesn't take long before you, you yeah. get the hang of it, like you do with your toothbrush. It's just it becomes natural and intuitive, and and, and you become more efficient with it. You know, effective, and and it doesn't take long at all. And yeah, it, it's just well worth it. Again, like you mentioned, it's. Yeah, it's just not put these in and forget it. I mean, there's maintenance as with anything, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just for just for the good dental health alone. But um, 
it's uh it's not anything more than i think you're gonna do with your natural tea that's right so just good habits yeah and then keep these yeah yeah so it is an investment yeah it is an investment into you yeah um okay to to i've i've shared with you and i want to repeat it who you ended up with actually i've yet i've never met i'm actually interviewing your doctors Mm -hmm. later today i'm going to the practice and and so i'm really grateful i got to meet with you first because that's going to give me a a good insight yeah into meeting them but but the research i have done and Mm -hmm. i'm able to kind of snoop around and do my stuff um you you your your gut was right Mm -hmm. um god blessed you with it because he (laughs) this guy's this guy this team is the real deal from what i've seen from right. everything and now that i hear from you you know it's one thing to kind of you know okay what are they putting out there mm-hmm. versus what the reality is but they seem to match right. and what i've seen is is you you know so so coming from somebody that's met a lot of clinicians i mean around this country and around the world mm-hmm. you you ended up with one of the best so. I did. and and you know i I went, had mine done. I was very happy with it. And you could say, oh, well, that's a one-off. He just went great with that. You know, everything, and it did. I mean, you know, again, fortunately, everything went perfect with my entire yeah. procedure. Um, and you could say, well, oh, that was just a one-off. But uh, now my wife's gone through it. Clockwork. I mean, same mm. thing. Uh, same, same experience. You know, I'm not going to say that everybody's going to. I mean, you can have failures. Things happen. Not because of any negligence just you know people's body sometimes rejects whatever mm-hmm. in that area i mean they move it and you're fine or replace it so uh but yeah you know i was really happy to find these guys I, cool. I you know i couldn't promote them enough and and no oblig again no obligation on my part i mean if they had done a bad job i would flat tell you i mean there's no room for that i mean this is a serious procedure mm-hmm. that if, that seriously affects people's lives and their health so, you know, if you get guys doing bad things out there, then they just need to get out of the business. Because they do. they're not doing anybody a favor. They're, they're, they continue to give dentists a bad name, you know. Um, so I would, I would think the good dentists want those guys out as well. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And I've seen that. I have. I've yeah. seen, you know, because there's this kind of fraternity thing with dentists. You're kind of like, oh, man, they just stick up for one another. But I'm seeing that tide shift where it's like, hey, wait a second. You're giving us a bad name. you right. got to go. Right. So. Right. Well, I am so grateful that you took time. Hopefully, this wasn't too painful for no, you. <laughs> not at all. Hopefully, I'll be honest. I was a little anxious about it, you yeah. know, just uh, but uh, very comfortable. So I, I'm more than happy to do it. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, and just hope- uh, I like what you're doing. You know, the the concept here of giving people honest opinions of people who have had this procedure yeah. done to hopefully get them over that line and change their life. Uh, you know, uh, it would have certainly have helped me. You know, okay. to see some other real people talking about it and not promoting a dentist. Yeah. And not being paid for not it, not for getting it. a discount for it. Right. Not, right. I mean, I, I know you're not. And that's right. one of the things, and I know I didn't. And so I'm, I'm, I'm glad, glad that, that you were a part of this and that you're able to share your hope. Your thoughts, your reality, being candid. I appreciate yeah, well, that. Sure. And, yeah, well. You know, not just trying to put a show on, but right. really sharing and being vulnerable with us. So yeah, I appreciate I'm, that, Byron. Yeah, I hope it helps. I hope it helps somebody. It, is, so. it does. All well, right. thank you. I appreciate but, it. Yeah, Byron. thank you, Matt. Good thank to see you. you. Thank you. All right, take care.